had a call from a customer. Reported fault was that the ice maker on their LG fridge was not opening. Ice was being made, but ice wasn't actually dropping through. So there we've got our ice maker flap. That's not releasing ice into customer's glass. Ice maker's there, customer's turned it off manually. So yeah, it seems more like an electrical fault than mechanical. Confirm that by grabbing a pick and just opening the ice flap manually. There's no damaged plastic and it's opening smooth like it should. It leads me to believe it's more of an electrical fault. The way we access this, grab a pick and then you've got this plastic cover over the ice maker. Grab that, they are quite fragile, but with a little bit of force, you should be able to get it off. Be careful not to snap out. Behind that, we've got our pipe that lets the water through when requested. Careful with that, don't poke any holes in it, or when customer goes to get a drink, there's going to be water everywhere. Next thing we've got to do is remove the display. These are expensive and not something you want to damage, so be careful with it. But through careful pick work, you should be able to just pop it straight off like that. We've got one connector to this display. Remove that and leave it somewhere just for safekeeping, somewhere it's not going to get scratched. Behind that, we've got three screws holding this plastic cover in place. Remove those and you should be able to get this cover off. On this plastic cover, we've got a lever mechanism that activates a micro switch that then in turn opens that ice maker flap up. Confirm that that's working. Again, there's no broken plastic. That micro switch is getting activated and that's in perfect condition. It's working as it should. So we know this is not an issue. Behind this plastic cover, we've got a little white motor. You can see that's a better view on how the ice maker flap actually works. There's that white motor next to it. When that gets a signal that it needs to be opened, a little arm moves down and opens that ice maker flap up. Then, just through gravity, anything that's in the ice box falls straight through. That's where we're getting stuck at minute. So if we open that up, we can see it's rusty. It's been damaged by water. So order a new one, swap that out, and we should be good to go. So basically, when machine's running, ice maker box is just filling up and filling up and getting blocked and causing customer nightmares because obviously they can't come in and use it. They can't get any ice. Uh, so when we've replaced this motor, we should be good to go. On the motor, we can see the little gear with the little arm that activates that then opens the ice maker. Make sure that's above the plastic arm of the ice maker. So obviously, just intuitively, it makes sense that as that gear rotates and comes down, that ice maker flap opens. Uh, we can see a better view of that there. You can see the little white gear, the little white arm will pull the grey plastic arm down and that's what forces ice maker to open. So yeah, grab the plastic cover with the micro switch, reattach those connectors, it's just two. And then that plastic cover should snap straight into place. Redo the three screws on that. Reconnect your display. And then refit that. As you're doing this, obviously make sure that everything's flush, everything's gone in the way it should. You don't want to have reinstalled this and then realise, oh, you've missed a screw or something's out of place. When reinstalling the bottom plastic cover, make sure the water pipe is in the correct position and it's not bent. If not, water's going to go everywhere. So yeah, we're done. Give it a test. No motors in place. And you can see that's functioning as it should. So as soon as there's a little bit of ice in that box, gravity is going to enable it to just fall straight through. Exactly as intended. Turn the ice maker back on. Now, most ice makers have a test function. So obviously we've activated this previously, but we can tell that ice maker's working. So as soon as that fills up with water and freezes enough, this little actuator will turn the ice maker, snap all ice out of that box basically, and throw it down into the ice maker box. Uh, where then, obviously in turn, because flaps now working, customer will be able to get access to their ice. So yeah, bang on repair. If you need any help, as always, just give me a shout.